morning to you wherever you are watching us from this morning is a good morning and you will enjoy the goodness of this day in the mighty name of jesus god's mercies are new every morning every morning there's a new dispatch of mercy in your direction and the mercy of god will speak for you today in the mighty name of jesus the word of god made us understand that it is not doing that run it it's not you all to you that we let, but it's of God that show mercy. I pray for you that the mercy that will distinguish you today, the mercy that will bring preservation to you, the mercy that will bring help to you, we locate you this day in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, when whatever you have obtained mercy for, you will definitely manifest. And that is why we normally come to the altar of prayer. Because when we come to the altar of prayer, we obtain mercy in the altar of prayer. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. When you come into the altar of prayer like you are this morning, one of the things that is guaranteed for you is to obtain mercy. So today, you will obtain mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. All of your heart, for all of your desire, for the help that you need, you shall obtain mercy in Jesus' name. Father will bless you. Our ever merciful God, our God that is rich in mercy. Glory be to your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that under the sound of my voice now, that before the end of this program, before the end of this broadcast, for whatever they are trusting you for, they will obtain mercy for such. In the mighty name of Jesus, by mercy, this one will be preserved. By mercy, they will receive help. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for everything. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Before I go into what I want to discuss with us today, but let's look at the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. It says, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace. Let us therefore come boldly. Okay, the NIV version says, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in our time of need so when you come for a devotional time like this we are coming with confidence to the throne of grace to the presence of our father and when we come what are we here to we are here to receive mercy we are here to obtain mercy you see there are things that must happen to you today by divine design and until you have obtained mercy, you have received mercy from so, for such. It is only the thing we have received mercy for that will be made manifest to us. So this morning, as we go to pray together, I want you to trust the Almighty God to obtain mercy for your preservation. To obtain mercy for that testimony that you are trusting God for. All these mercies are available on the throne before the throne of grace. So as we pray together to this morning, I want you to trust the Almighty God for abundance of mercy. The Bible makes us understand that our God is rich in mercy. Mercy is not scarce before God. In fact, every day has its own dispatch of mercy from our direction. In the book of Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. He says his mercies are new every morning. So thank God for yesterday's mercy. There's a new mercy that is coming in your direction today. And you will not miss it. How do you obtain this mercy? How do you receive mercy? On the altar of grace. On the altar of prayer. Today, you shall obtain mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I just want to quickly admonish us on the topic that your foot will not sleep. As you go about your engagement today, the Almighty God will not allow your foot to sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's my word of encouragement and my word of comfort to you. And I want you to go. Doesn't matter what happened to you today. Know that underneath you are the everlasting arm of God. Your foot will not sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 1, 1, Psalm 121 verse 3. Psalm 121 verse 3. 
It's verse, verse 3, Psalm 121, verse 3. He said, He will not allow your foot to slip. God will not allow your foot to slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. In the mighty name of Jesus, He will not allow your foot to slip. So as you go out today, go with that confidence that God will not allow my foot to slip. God will not allow me to stumble. God will not allow me to fall. I will not fall into danger. I, my foot will not slip into the dungeon of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that same Isaiah, Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2. Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains, to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. It is the one that has received help from God that their foot will not slip. If you look at that scripture where say, where is my help coming from? Today there are so many things that is going to confront me. There are so many height I will scale. There are so many things I will achieve today. Where is the help to get all these things done? Where is it coming from? The word the government does to understand it is coming from the Lord. And the Lord, one of the ways God will help you is that we not allow your foot to sleep. That is the word of God for someone under the sound of my voice today. It doesn't matter where you are, where you are operating from. You see, a lot of times, some of us, in the course of our engagement today, we will walk through some high places of the earth. The, there, there are doors that God will open. That sometimes it will be scary. But as you go today, every door that the Almighty God will open for you, God himself will sustain you. He will not allow your foot to sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter whatever the enemy has put in place today. Your own foot will not sleep. You will not walk into danger in the name of Jesus. He will not allow your foot to sleep. So many people are walking in very dangerous, terrible terrain. But the word of encouragement to you and the word of comfort for you, it that doesn't matter where you are walking on today and even the rest of your life, God will not allow your foot to sleep. In the course of the day, so many things will happen, but have it at the back of your mind that for you under the sound of my voice today you are divinely preserved in the mighty name of it doesn't matter the level of the gun violence that's happening there you are divinely preserved in the mighty name of jesus if it is happening in front it will not reach you if it is happening behind you it will not come near you a thousand may fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand the word of god for you it will not come near you and you must start to believe the word of god Totally. Don't go about and say that and that thing happened to somebody and that person is a Christian and that calamity happened to this other one. This one too is a Christian. You hold on to the word of God for your life. The word of God for you today is that God will not allow your foot to sleep. When we come before the throne of grace like this, we obtain mercy. We find grace to help in the time of need. So there's help for you today. There's help for you today. And what is that help? The help is that God will not allow your foot to sleep. In fact, it will preserve your going out. It will preserve your coming in. So as I pray with us today, I'm praying for preservation. For someone under the sound of my voice, as you are going out today, you are divinely preserved. As you will be coming back, you are divinely preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus. In 1 Psalm 121, verse 6. Psalm 121, verse, let's look at one, one, one of God's promise that guarantee our safety, our protection, even as we go. He said, the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The sun will not harm you by day, uh, nor the moon by night. If you look at the book of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible makes us to understand that God had given the rulership of the day 
to the sun. He said the sun to rule by day and the moon and the star to rule by night. So it is very possible that things could be programmed by men, evil people, into the sun. And the sun that is shining, that's supposed to be bringing vitamin and bringing a, 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 a blessing to people, could turn out becoming an, a, an agent that could be working against them. That is why the Bible makes us to understand that when you have been helped by God, the sun that is shining will not harm you by day. And that is the word of God to you today. The sun that will shine today will not harm you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the moon that will shine later in the night will not bring harm to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is the implication of that? All that is created by God will work for your favor. In the mighty name of Jesus today, everything that the almighty God has created will Cooperate to work for your blessing. We cooperate to we cooperate with your destiny to work for your advancement in the mighty name of Jesus. So the psalmist were praying, say, where you have been helped by God, where you have obtained the help of God. Number one, your foot will not sleep because the one that is keeping you will not slumber. He will see to it that he guide your path all through this day and days to come, that you will not fall into error, you will not fall into danger, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will not fall into any mischief of men, into any mischief of the enemy, in the mighty name of Jesus, it doesn't matter the trap that has been set, you will walk over it, you will not fall into it, in the mighty name of Jesus, so the soul will not smite you by day, because of the help of God. And the moon will not smite you, will not harm you in the night, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm not just praying for you alone. Everything that concerns you, everything that concerns you, your, your children, your family, your, your, your parents, everyone, none shall be a victim of the attack of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Your foot will not sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at Psalm 121, verse 7 and 8 before we start to pray. Psalm 121, verse 7 and 8. The Bible makes us to understand that God will preserve your going out and God will preserve your coming in. He said, we preserve, the Lord will keep you from all arm. The Lord will keep you from all arm. I expect someone to howl, Allah, amen. The Lord will keep you from all arm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going. Both now, today, and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said he will preserve you from all evil. He will preserve you from all harm. He will preserve your life. He will preserve your going out and your coming in. From now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. So as you go out today, go with the assurance of your safety is guaranteeing God. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us therefore come boldly, come with all confidence before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So this is the season of help for you. This is the season of help for you. And when God help a man, what are the things that the man is likely to see? What are what are you what are you what are what are some of the things that is going to be your experience? I only make mention of one because of our time. In the book of First King chapter five verse four. First King chapter five verse four. I will make mention of only one manifestation that you will see when the help of God is available to you. First King chapter 5 verse 4. He said, but now, but now, 
But now, I want you to know that, but now. I'm not talking about what has happened before, but now. The Lord, my God, has given me rest on every side. Wow. There is no adversary or disaster. In the mighty name of Jesus today, you will receive help on every side by the help of the Almighty God. He said, but now, but now, but today, but today and forevermore, the Lord my God that give you me rest on every side by the help of God, receive help on every side in the name of Jesus. He said, but now, the Lord my God had given me rest on every side. And I do not know that God has given me rest on every side. He said there are no adversaries. The Lord has shut the mouth of all the enemy. The sun is not smite me by day. The moon is not smite me by night. The Lord himself is watching over my soul. And there are no disasters. Disaster shall be far from you today and forever in the name of Jesus. He said, but now, I pray for you. That is your testimony. Even from now and forth, that you will look and say, but now, the Lord my God had given me rest on every side. As you go into this day, Rest on every side is your portion. In the name of Jesus, if there are still one adversary or the other there, by the reason of the help of God today, every adversary of your life, they are silent forever. Every adversary of your life are silent forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, but now, the Lord my God had given me rest on every side. Every side. In that marriage, rest for you. In that career, rest for you. Over your children, rest for you. Over your parents and everything that's of concern to you now, rest for you. Over your establishment, where God has planted you, rest for you. In the name of Jesus. That was Solomon's testimony. He said, but now, the Lord, my God, had given me rest on every side. He will not allow your foot to sleep. He will give you rest on every side. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before we pray, and I'm trusting the Almighty God that someone will obtain mercy today for rest on every side. That there will be no adversary, there will be no evil occurrence, there will be no disaster, no evil news. In the mighty name of Jesus, that your going out is preserved, your coming in is preserved. But if you are under the sound of my voice, and you have not genuinely given your heart to God. You know within yourself that you could be religious, but you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Then this promise cannot hold water for you. The promise is for God's children. The promise is those that are in relationship with Jesus Christ. The promise is for those that have come to God through the person of Jesus Christ. If that is your prayer today that pastor i want you to pray for me too i want to have a relationship with the almighty god through the lord jesus christ all you need to do as a commitment to god is to put your hand by your chest and say this prayer genuinely after me say heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus i come to you today have mercy upon me cleanse me from all my sins write my name in your book of life and wash me completely from all my iniquities in the mighty name of Jesus. And in your kingdom, please don't let me be found one thing in Jesus' name. As you have prayed that prayer, I agree with you that your sins are forgiven. They are washed with the precious blood of Jesus. In the kingdom of God, you will not be found one thing. And the rest that God has prepared for you this season, step into it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Now it is time to pray. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 16. He said, let us therefore come boldly. Let us therefore come with all confidence before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. What you need today is the help of God. And the psalmist said, I will lift up my hands to the hills. 
my help is coming from God. As we pray together today, the help of God will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus, particularly for your preservation. Your own foot will not slip. In the name of Jesus, I know there's someone on that side of my voice. I don't care what the enemy has put in place to short circuit to, to cut you short, to bring you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, your foot will not sleep. In the name of Jesus, your foot will not sleep. Your foot will not sleep. You will ride upon your high places of, of this earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing will cut you short. You will not fall into error. You will not make mistake. In the name of Jesus, you will not. Stumble. You will not stumble and fall. I pray for you today, under the side of my voice. Whatever has been designed against you to bring you down will not succeed. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, No weapon form against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against you in judgment shall condemn. I speak into your life today. No weapon form against you. That weapon form against you to bring you down, it will not prosper. In the name of Jesus. They are expecting you to come down. But every time they lift up their eyes, they will be seeing you up there. In the mighty name of Jesus, God in his almighty name. God says, underneath you are the everlasting harm. The everlasting arm of God will sustain you. The everlasting arm of God will sustain you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I also want to pray for someone on that side of my voice. God is about to bring you by his help to your season of rest. All round rest. If there's anything that has been giving you sleepless night, as we pray now, I command the help of God to solve it. I command the help of God to sort you out. In the name of Jesus, anything that has been giving you palpitation of heart, everything that has been giving you anxiety, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, given, we should make our requests be made known unto God. Everything that has been causing you to be anxious, I command them by the power of the Holy Ghost to be still now in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been troubling the both of your life, whatever has been troubling you, giving you uneasiness all around, I command the peace of God to reign now. Peace be still in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. And finally, by the reason of rest all around, there will be no adversary and there will be no evil occurrence. So as you go into this day, every adversary of your destiny, they are silent forever. In the name of Jesus, any evil occurrence that will be determined against you, any evil program that will be programmed there, that one badness will come to you at any time or of the day or in the course of your life. Today, we terminate every program of occurrences. In the name of Jesus, no badness will come to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. As you go into this day, you are going as a champion. I await your testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.